peace 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 i don't even know if anyone's coming on if you can see that i do have the light on so you might not be able to see it a happy pocket full of money this is what i'm going to be reading today the chapter is about time and does it exist so i posed the question to my daughter when i asked her what time it is and everything she's like it's 6 53 <laughs> That's what the time was at this, at the very moment. So whether you come on or not, I'm just going to spend some time reading this chapter. I want to put out that time is things I must experience. I probably should have put that in there. I don't know if I can edit. Let me see. Can I edit? What's this? Things I must experience. And you can put down what you think time is, if time is relevant, if it's not relevant to you. However, what I do like about um, this is when you're having a good time, how fast is it moving? And when you're at work or somewhere where you don't want to be at, how fast is time moving? I want you to put all those things into perspective. So like I said, the book I'm reading a happy pocket full of money, right? And it's so cool as we're talking about wealth and all those things, we're going to talk about time. So I'm going to read. Listen, I am not the best reader, <laughs> but just bear with me. If you like, if you don't, I'm okay with that too. Listen, we talked about um, not taking things personally. So in the four agreements the other day. All right. Chapter three, the truth about time. And that it does not exist. That's how this starts off. Time. It does not exist. Time is a funny thing. A very funny thing. The biggest trick time ever played on us was to make us think it was real. And that we were under its full control. Yet time is a complete illusion. A strong and persistent illusion. And y'all can say something in the comments. Say peace. Whatever, just let me know I'm not here by myself because I will stop and look up. What wonderful news that is. Time is an illusion created by you. Once you understand how this illusion is created by you, you can begin to recreate it as you wish. Consciously and deliberately instead of unconsciously and accidentally as you may have been doing. What is time? And I already told you time, things I must experience. What do I have to do with time? How should I think and be about time so that I may experience wealth and other things in larger quantities faster? This chapter will begin to answer these questions. In other chapters in this book, these concepts will become more real to you. The only time that truly exists is now. The distinction between past, present, future, is only an illusion, however persistent. That's by Albert Einstein. I like in this book, they take moments and they stop and they talk about, I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. So it's a constant affirmation to yourself, which I find peace. Whether time is long or short, whether space is broad or narrow, depends upon the mind. Those whose mind are at leisure can feel one day as a millennium and those whose thoughts are expansive can perceive a small house to be as spacious as the universe i am wealth i am abundance i am joy time flows in all directions not only forward as it appears to the past present and future exist simultaneously i want to know what are your thoughts about that about time just all being bunched up as one I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. All right, you're going to have to bear with me with this explanation about time. But when I got to the end of it, I was like, yo, that's so dope. So again, just, you know, bear with me. I'm reading, y'all. So if you don't want to be read to, then this not the life <laughs> for y'all. All right, I am wealth, I'm abundance, I am joy. Here is an easy explanation of what time is. This is an extremely simplified explanation, but it will 
do for now. Imagine a football or soccer field with 10 objects spread around it. Now imagine that object A represents a child being born and object B represents 10 year old child. If object A were to travel to become or transform into object B, the travel time would take, wait, that travel would take what you now call 10 years of time. That is 10 human years of a child's growing up. Now it gets a little complex. What if that football field were to shrink? Object A would reach or become object B and pass through all the experiences of a 10 year of childhood. But the sensation of time would change. Peace, peace, I'm reading. <laughs> In other words, 10 years would feel very different. If the field shrank enough, 10 years could feel like an instant. And you have experienced this often. When you are having a great time, I just posed this question to you guys. When you are having a great time and you feel as if time flies by, you don't notice the hours passing, yet your watch says they pass because your watch is designed to take the same amount of time to move from one second marker on the clock face to the next. Like I was saying, so if you at a party, you having a good time, next thing you know it's two o'clock in the morning, you're like, wow, where did the time go? Are you at a family reunion? You spending this time with, with people? You're like, yo, I had such a great time. I can't believe the time passed. Or you notice that um, your children or other people's kids are growing up right before you. And you're like, wow, they was just babies. I remember when you was a small fry. Did anybody ever say that to you? I people said that to me before. I remember when you was just a small little fry. Um, that might be an East Coast thing. I'm not sure. Time passed fast. But then think about when you're at work, right? And you look up and you're like, dang, man, only one minute passed, right? Or when you're sleeping and you're trying to sleep that extra time before you have to get up to go to work. That time goes by really fast, right? So the things that you're enjoying are the things that you must experience, right? and you're experiencing a great time that all goes by fast. But when it is <laughs> something that you're not enjoying, what happens? It goes by slow. All right, back to the book. But you are not designed that way. Time is, time is the moving of your consciousness past pre-existing events in this space-time continuum. You will soon see what this is. The field of life that we live in is not static. It keeps changing its dimensions. That is why we have to keep readjusting our watches worldwide all the time for this crazy thing called time to make sense to us. But only because we think of time as constant slices of a whole. It is not. It is merely our misinterpretation of our consciousness moving past one pre-existing event in the field to the next. As you shall see, the field of life is not static, nor does our consciousness move at a fixed speed. The field may not change that fast for us, and our consciousness may not change its rate that fast unless we will it to do so. And that is why we do not usually notice these differences that much and realize that time is not constant. But if you were to travel very fast in a spaceship, as you may well have heard from Einstein's theory of relativity, you can slow down time or even go back in time. That makes me think about the movie Back, back to the Future. Time is more of a sensation of passing events and the speed with which you pass the events determine the collaboration of time. It is not the taking of time that changes it is the collaboration of time. One minute no longer takes one minute. Okay, back to the soccer field. This is where I wanted y'all to listen. So hopefully y'all still tuned in. Imagine you are one of the objects. You will feel time as you move around the field, passing other objects that you see, won't you? Yes. 
Now imagine if you were born moving faster, say three times the speed, time would seem shorter. Now imagine you are the soccer field itself or even an object larger or even an object large enough to cover the whole field. Now we are talking time would cease to exist for you because you are the field and you can feel, touch and be with all the objects on it at the same time. There is no travel form. There is no travel from one object to another. They are all happening here and now, all of them. All 10 objects happening at the same time for you always. This is the eternal movement of now and here. Everything that can possibly happen in the universe. It makes me think about what's going on um, in this world, you know, with source and how we worship and all that stuff. You know, for us, time is either moving fast, it's moving slow, whereas though, if we, once we leave this realm, it might be like a second or whatever. Like, time really is irrelevant. <laughs> all right, let's see, I don't, don't lost my place. Let's see. Everything that can possibly happen in the universe, everything that can possibly be created, the past, present, and future, are all running at the same time in one huge field. Your consciousness and awareness are awake to only a small section of this field at any one time. And as you move objects or events about from one point to, the, to another, you're, you experience time as a sensation of past, present, and future. The field itself does not experience time, it's you. It only experiences an eternal process that is always happening all at once. Now, here, always, always. You can think of the whole field as a source. As you expand your consciousness and awareness, you take up more and more of the fill and time shrinks for you. Can you see that? Now, the amazing thing is that the mind and self or soul or spirit, whichever term you use, is a lot larger than your physical body. So that's important because I feel like we as human beings, we limit ourselves with limiting beliefs and all that stuff. We are so massive. So it's so important that we continue to think bigger. And if you're enjoying this, you know, let me know. Because this is like a first time type of thing. All right. Every time I stop, I lose my place. Let me find it. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. I think this is where we are. Yes. I'm just going to read this over. Now, the amazing thing is that the mind and the self or soul or spirit, whichever term you use, is... A lot larger than your physical body. We are used to thinking of the soul or self as a little thing contained inside our body that is just human thinking, relating things to containers, like thinking within the box. We want to think outside of the box. Have you ever considered that the soul, being far more powerful than the body, actually holds the body together and surrounds it? Wow, that's powerful, right? And the mind holds the brain and nervous system together and surrounds it. Think about like people who pass away, right? They're no longer functioning. Their soul has left their body, right? So if the soul was the main source of holding everything together, then yeah, the other faculties won't work anymore. So we have to stop thinking with these limiting beliefs. That's why we have to think bigger. Like if you are... All right, I'm, I'm holding my finger at the spot. I think I am. So if you are in a place where you think this is it for you, you don't have to think that way, right? So this chapter on time is literally talking about wealth and how we can have a wealth mindset. We can think so much bigger. We can think outside of ourselves. And why? Because we have this soul. We have this spirit that's holding together this human body. All right, let me go back to where I was at. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you have considered that the soul and mind are larger than the body and the brain, have you ever considered where they end? How many feet away from the body? Or is it how many miles away? 
or how many light years away from the body does your soul end? It is not impossible that your soul and mind are billions times larger than your body. Why not? They are infinite and eternal. Yet this humongous, powerful self is you. Anyway, let us get back to wealth. Understanding time clearly, how it works and how to take control of it. And understanding yourself and your self-composition in relation with everything else, physical and non-physical, is of high importance. If you wish to experience a massive wealth fast, it is all a matter of expanded consciousness. Right state, right thought, right choice. These can awaken your consciousness to wealthy parts of the whole that spreads out in the ever wider circle from yourself. That's all I wanted to read today from, um, let's see if y'all can see that, A Happy Pocket Full of Money, right? Um, we were reading a portion of the truth about time. I don't know what you grab from it. If you grab anything from what I read, drop something down in the comments. I know a few of you kind of checked in and you were listening. Thank you for listening. But if you liked it, please write something. Let me know. Like I don't want to just be doing it just to be doing it, right? So um, understand that time is things I must experience, right? So just continue to experience and make it wonderful. Allow your thoughts to be massive. Don't limit yourself. Let's let go of scarcity and limiting beliefs. Peace, family. I am D. Renee. I hope you liked my reading for today, even if I messed up a few words. <laughs> Peace.